Mina son konnichiwa und welcome. And today I'm doing another vlog, but this time it's about my plans for New Year's. By the time you're watching this video, I'm already in Las Vegas. You know, to celebrate what I love to do. Because on the 30th, I'm going, going to a special parade. As in one of those glorious, glamorized parades. And all the Burl Ives and Jimmy Durante lookalikes are going to be there. Like, if I live to be a hundred, I'll never be able to forget that big snowstorm a couple years ago. The weather closed in. Well, you might not believe it, but the world almost missed Christmas. Oh, excuse me. Call me Sam. What's the matter? Haven't you ever seen a talking snowman before? I call it Christmas Town, better known as the North Pole. Christmas seals. Here's our big Christmas trees. Yep, here's where we grow them. But of course the number one residences up here are the Claws, as Zen and the Misses. They live right over there. First castle on the left. Matter of fact, the only castle on the left. <laughs> I suppose it all started with the snow. Now, Professor Hinkle was just about the worst magician in the world. You see, Frosty, since he was made out of snow himself, was the fastest belly whopper in the world. They were too late. Too late? Why nonsense? <laughs> just watch. Wait a minute. I want that hat, and I want it now. Don't you dare touch that. And what are you going to do about it? If you so much as lay a finger on the brim, I'll never bring you another Christmas present as long as you live. Never? Never. No more trick cards or magic balls or... No more anything. Oh, it's not fair. I mean, we evil magicians have to make a living, too. Now you go home and write, I am so sorry for what I did to Frosty a hundred zillion times. And then maybe, just maybe, mind you, you'll find something in your stocking tomorrow morning. A new hat, maybe? Ooh, yes, sir. Goodbye, everyone. Sorry to lose and run, but I got to get busy writing. Busy, busy, busy. Busy. <laughs> Come on, Frosty. We're all waiting for you. Happy birthday. Hey, I said my voice whites, but but snowman can't talk. That's a neat idea. Why didn't I think of that before? The next thing I'm doing after the parade is done is head to the buffet at Caesar's Palace. You know, that big casino place in Vegas. And I mean, it is a huge stinking buffet there. With everything you could imagine. Pepperoni pizzas, crab legs, the food that everyone always fights for. Sorry I had to put the camera on pause, but... There's nothing I can do about it. There's also... There's also burgers and... General Tso's chicken and fried chicken. Then that spicy Hawaiian pizza. Did I mention the crab legs that everyone always fights for? Because it's a really popular food item at certain buffets. But I'm not a fan of crab legs. I think it's utterly disgusting. Then there was also all kinds of different pasta meals, like mac and cheese and spaghetti. On oh, the desserts, 
you couldn't ask for a better dessert portion of the buffet. Like orange creme cakes, chocolate cake, lots of pies, all, all that stuff. Then on the 31st of December, I'm heading to a huge convention. And everyone in cosplay will be there, based off various franchises. Like, for instance, Ten Muscamato from School Rumble, Toru Honda from Fruits Basket, Chio Chan from Azamanga Dio, Son Goku and Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z, Naruto Zamaki and Sasuke Uchiha from Naruto and its sequel series Naruto Shippuden, Ichiko Kurosaki and Rukia Kuchiki from Bleach, Momo Yoyorosu from My Hero Academia, Urza Scarlet from Fairy Tail, Haruhi Suzumiya from The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya, Haruhi Fuchioka from Oran High School Host Club, Nezuko Kamado from Kimetsu no Yaiba, among various others. What? I love anime in both dubbed and subtitled forms. Don't judge me. Then, then cosplay based off American and Canadian licenses. Everything from Care Bears to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Like, we'll have to trust the wind to blow us the same way it blew our friends. It's the stone that's causing this. <coughs> Gee, I ain't used to hearing the boss get chewed out. Uh, me neither. Usually it's us. There's only one thing to do. Okay, boss. Now can you tell us why we're filling the balloons with helium? Keep on filling them and don't ask stupid questions. Krang, why are they filling the balloons with helium? Then also, also from various Disney and Warner Brothers licenses. Like, like the Disney princesses, Bugs Bunny and Wild E. Coyote. Like, listen doc, now don't spread this around, but uh, confidentially... I am a wabbit! Good times, man. Then on New Year's Day, I'm heading to a special Trisha Yearwood concert. And everyone's of celebrity status is going to be there. Including Jennifer Aniston and Robert Downey Jr. And I mean everyone's going to be there. Well, excluding Ryan Seacrest, because he has Dick, Dick Clark's New Year's show to do on ABC. But that program was better when Dick Clark was still alive. Then some of the surviving members of Lawrence Welk's show. And I do mean some of the surviving members associated with Lawrence Welk. And even some of the voice actors associated with Bobby Smolja are going to be there. Like Tom Kenny and Clancy Brown. You faker! Not to mention you were sleeping on the job! What are you going to do to me? I'm going to make you pay. And then I'll, I'll be back home on the 2nd to work on more plastic canvas tissue box covers. Okay, that should be it for the video for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, comment. 
and as always, amigos, au revoir, au vida zen, sayonara, adios, and arrivederci. And make sure you click that bell icon so you'll get notified when I upload new videos. And I'll be back with another video shortly, so stay tuned.